This video is going to look at networking on the internet, connect to wireless networks and troubleshoot them and connect to a wireless hotspot using a, a phone or if you have an iPad that is a 3G, 4G model you can actually use your iPad as a personal hotspot and share your internet. Uh, to know if you've got if you're connected to a wireless network on the very up left corner is the wireless symbol if you are currently using your wireless network whether you're, you're inside your own network or your house friend's house or in a, a shopping center using public free wi-fi you'll know if you're connected because you will have that symbol up the more bars there are on that uh, wireless signal the stronger that network is this one also is a 3g model so i have a, a telstra sim card in there so i can use the 3G network to get internet uh, if I'm not in range of a wireless network. So to connect to a network you need to go into the settings and up on the, the top on the left is Wi-Fi network. Uh, you need to make sure Wi-Fi is, is actually switched on for a start so if, it, if it's off then uh, you're not going to get any wireless networks whatsoever. If you are needing to turn off your Wi-Fi because you're in a plane, there is an airplane mode and, and uh, switching that on will turn off your Wi-Fi, will turn off your Bluetooth, turn off anything that's going to interrupt flying rather than turn Wi-Fi off. In the middle there are all the networks, wireless networks that this iPad can see. So I'm inside my home now, so I have a, a couple of, of networks visible uh, with the big pond AT. 25 one is the router so there's nothing I can connect to there. The network that I'm currently connected to has the check mark next to it and there are two possible networks that I could connect to inside here. To connect to a network for the first time you do need to know the network's password and in some cases you might need to know the security, the type of security that's necessary to join it whether it's WEP, WEP or WPA and those are the settings that either you get from your router or you would get from the person whose network you're trying to join. Uh, networks broadcast their names. So the network names that you see here are all broadcasting their names so that any um, device that has a wireless card can see those networks because they're broadcasting. Here I am, join me. All you need is the password. And uh, because that network name is known, all you need to do is provide the, the password. The other name for a network name in wireless networking is the SSID. You might often see it referred to as that. You can have your networks broadcasting their name or you can turn that setting off in your router. Now, all of the, the wireless settings originally will come from a wireless router. And in order to make any changes to your network name or your network password or your network security, you do need to go into the router and uh, change it from there. And we'll look at how you do that in a, in a minute. Uh, the, if I wanted to change networks, then it's all, all it is, is a matter of tapping another one. And in this case, it's the first time I've connected to this network, so I would need to put in the password. So let's just pause while I do that. Once you put the password in, tap join. And if all goes well, you should now be connected to that network. And you can see that the check mark has now changed to reflect that other network. And if I wanted to go into this one up here, again, I need to provide a password to do that, to join it. Once I've joined the network, the next time I'm in range of that network, it will automatically connect to it. Uh, the only time you've got to put a password in is the first time that you join a network. Ask to join networks. If you turn that on, and it's sort of more of a problem if you're actually out uh, of your home network and say you're in a shopping center, for example, one of those large shopping centers where all the different shops have their own wireless network and are all broadcasting that network name. So as soon as you get into that shopping center and you try and, and uh, join a network or use your 3G um, networking, 
if you have asked to join networks on, it will bombard you with these are the networks I can see. Do you want to join them? And unless you know the passwords for those networks, you're not going to be able to join them. And it's just annoying. Uh, in a network, to see your network settings, if I tapped on the arrow, I can see the network settings for this particular network. DHCP means that the iPad is getting its IP address from the router. The wireless router is allocating IP addresses and an IP address is the identity of this device on the network and every device, whether it's a phone, a laptop, an iPad, tablet, desktop computer, anything that is going out on the internet inside your wireless network needs its own identity and the router is providing that. And in this case, the IP address is the 192.168.1.83. That is the identity of this iPad. The rest of that information, you're probably not going to need to know what it is. You're never, never going to have to try and understand it, but it's there for troubleshooting and perhaps there's others who, who are going to help you with that troubleshooting. That's where you find that information. Uh, if you're having trouble with the um, connecting to the internet, then one of the things you might try and do is renew the lease. The router will allocate an IP address to your device for a period of 24 hours or it could be indefinitely, it depends on how you've set the router up. And it can, if you wanted to, to get a new IP address, you could ask it to release the one that's currently got and, re, and give it a new one, or you can just renew the lease. So uh, quickly take it back into your, your pool of addresses and then give it back to me. So renewing the lease, all it might do is just refresh the settings and perhaps get you back on the internet if, it's, if that's what the problem is that you're having. Uh, you can also go to manage this network which will take you directly to your router settings where you can go in and look at more specific settings for this network and maybe the, this is the point where you might want to change the router password depending on the router you're using. I'm using the Mac routers, the Airport Extreme and every router is different in terms of how you get into its settings. Uh, all of them have a browser setting so you're going into your browser and putting in the uh, router's IP address and you'll know what the router's IP address is if you go back into settings. I'll go back into the same network. The router's address is this one, 192.168.1.1. So if I was to type that into a browser, I would have to know the, the um, administration name and password for my router, but it would get me into that router then I can make the changes. Now if you don't want your network to be broadcast, your network name, if you want to turn that off, disable it, or if you want to enable it, you need to get into your router settings. Now I can demonstrate this on the mobile broadband device. So if I go back up here and change my network to connect to the mobile broadband, and it's changed, uh, and the instructions that come with your router will give you um, an administration username and a password and you do this from your browser. So I'm doing this from Safari. This is the IP address up here of the mobile broadband device. Usually it's 192.168.1.1 and you can do it in any browser and it, it, what it will do is take you to the login page for that router. So I need to put in my username and password and log in to this mobile router. I don't want it to be saved. And it gives me all the settings for the, the mobile device to configure it. And in the Wi-Fi settings, and it's all going to be different depending on your router, uh, under basic is the name of my network. Now I changed it to this because it came with some really long-winded technical name that, that I would never be able to understand. So I changed the network name to that. And there's the broadcast name. It's currently enabled. It's being broadcast. If I wanted to disable that so I didn't see that name anywhere and I just had to, to know what it was, I could disable it. Uh, it's meant to be more secure if you're not broadcasting your network name. I've never found any problem with broadcasting it as long as you have a fairly secure password to actually get onto your network. But in your network settings, you'll find 
these sort of things to be able to change your password. So in my Wi-Fi settings, under basic, on this, in this device is where I find the SSID to change it, disable it or enable it. And under security is where I can change the password that I need to actually log on to this network and the type of security that it has. So your security is going to be uh, one of these. It's, if it's open, it has no security whatsoever. It's open and anybody can get onto your network. They don't need a password. So you need some sort of security. And what you need now, um, the best one is the WPA2 in this. But you can change your password. Perhaps all you need to do on your router is change your password to log onto your network. Maybe your SSID name, your network name, you can change to something that you remember and either enable it or disable it. And then once you've done that, you apply. And uh, the, once you've done that, then your iPad is going to take those settings from the router. And that's the settings that it's using to uh, um, log on to networks. Here's where it's searching, searching for networks. So it keeps finding networks that are within range. It might find, generally it does, it finds networks that are my neighbors but I can't connect to them because they're all locked, they're secure. And you know they're secure because the network will have a padlock next to it. So if there's a padlock, the only way that you can get into that network is if you know the password. Uh, if it's not got a padlock, then it is an open network and you can, provided there's enough strength to it. So in this one, there is a lot of strength. You could connect to that network without a password and use someone else's internet. Uh, always worth a look. So if there's a network that you don't want anymore, you, you don't ever need to use it again, and maybe there's a network you joined when you went off to a course or uh, or in a, a shopping centre and joined the public Wi-Fi, and you don't want to keep seeing that network every time you're with, within range of it, you can forget it. I will connect to a different one. And because it is known, the password is known, it connects to it automatically. But if I wanted to forget this one, we need to wait till it connects and then go into the arrow. And if I want the iPad to forget this network so that the next time it was in range, I needed to put the password in for it to connect. All I have to do is tap that, forget the network, and it will not automatically join this network any longer. So I forget. So if I now go back and try and join it, I have to put the password in. So let's do that. Pause there to put the password in. Once the password's in, join. And the iPad will switch to that network, and it will now automatically switch between networks. At the moment, I'm in this network, Shell's network, and you can tell which one you're in because it'll tell you up in the, that Wi-Fi setting there. You've also got the check mark that also indicates that this is the network you're connected to, the strength of the network, secure network. Now, if I want to swap to the 5 gigahertz network, which is a bit faster, the check mark will change. This will change, and it does that because it knows about that network. As soon as I say forget the network, the password is gone and you have to put it in again. You can also use a mobile hotspot to get internet to your iPad. So this, if this one was not a 3G one and it was just a Wi-Fi iPad and I needed to get the internet and I wasn't in my home, uh, I could use my smartphone and turn on the mobile hotspot on the phone and connect the iPad to the phone. And so it was this one, this is a smartphone, this is the Galaxy broadcasting its, its SSID, saying it's here, do you want to connect to me? And if I connect to that network, then I'm using the internet from the phone. And I'll demonstrate this on the, uh, the computer, not the iPad, because it will cut off my broadcast if I do it. But to connect to it, it's a similar, similar to what I would do on the iPad. I would tap the Android IP, put in the password that the phone gives me, and tap join, and it will the iPad will then change to that network. But I'll try it up here instead. I'm going to connect to the Android AP. All I need to do is put the password in, so it's pause while I put that in. Put the password in and click join. And now this computer is connected to 
the Android AP network, using it as a hotspot. And you can sort of see the other networks that the computer can see. These are this is one of my neighbours, uh, and I and it's also secure. And even if it wasn't, I could uh, join it. But it's such a weak signal that I wouldn't uh, be able to get too far. But I've now connected to on my computer. It's now connected to the Android. Uh, smartphone so any net, any internet that i use on my computer is now going to come from my data plan on the phone now i can also use the phone uh, the ipad as a personal hotspot too so in this case here if i wanted to turn on personal hotspot on the ipad and this will only work if you have a 3g 4g ipad with or not with wi-fi uh, to turn the hot the, the personal hotspot on um, you just tap on Turn, and that will turn it on and it's now discoverable so any other devices that want to use my internet that is being produced from my 3G uh, setting can put in the password that is even here adages 2295 that's the password and I can change that by going into here and change that password. That's just the one that's been provided. And other people, so maybe it's my laptop that I have and, it, and I haven't got internet, so I want to use the iPad's internet. So I can use my iPad as a, as a personal hotspot and then any connection uh, that, any, that, that is a uh, device connected to it will have this symbol, not the wireless symbol. So when you see that symbol up in the, the top left of the iPad, that device is being used as a hotspot device.